what is up everybody welcome back to the channel today we got our hands on an elite trainer box of celebrations and i am excited so real quick if you guys didn't already know these etbs come with not only the player's guide the uh, rule book some status counters that are kind of cheap some dice um some sleeves, some deck dividers, a bunch of energy cards per usual, right? But we have five packs from some of the newest sets, right? Chilling Rain, um, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, and 10 Celebrations packs. So, 10 Celebrations packs means 10 chances to pull Charizard or the Umbreon Gold Star. So, let's get into it. Player's Guide. I have not seen a card list, but here we go. Holo, Rush Ram, right? These are just standard hollows. We have the Pikachus, Mew, Zamazenta, Zacian V, plus the Surfing Flying Pikachu, V, V Max, the Gold, Shiny Mew. Rocket Zapdos, which we got a couple of last time. Mew EX. So some of the biggest cards in this set as far as value go. Birthday Pikachu. Clef, I think, has a little bit of value. The Mew and Gardevoir EX. Um, the Umbreon Gold Star. Mm, Reshiram, Zekrom, maybe. The Rayquaza EX, Mewtwo EX, I would say, have a little bit of value and then the big three right charizard right now about a hundred dollar card which is ridiculous but so rule book i don't really care about the rule book we do have our greninja star promo some deck sleeves code card and there's the code for you guys pack of energies some deck dividers and then dice and status counters I keep the dice the status counters I don't really care for and I don't think I'm really going to care for them unless I start playing the game but celebrations packs and then we have vivid voltage, chilling rain, battle styles and two darkness of blazes let's count these Perfect. We do have all of our packs. They're not hiding out. Uh, I did watch the owner of the card shop I work for open one of these last Saturday, and he actually had one of the celebrations packs stuck in here. Um, he opened it up, and he's like, wait, I only got nine packs. It's like, well, how did you only get nine packs? And we started looking, and turns out they were stuck. So let's get into the five standard packs so this is battle styles All right we're going to get into the five standard packs and then we'll get into celebrations so psychic energy level ball spupa glyscore mankey boltoy timber corefish cacnea tower of darkness corvinite v okay so we actually get a, what would be considered a hit um Vivid Voltage. We're going to save Darkness Ablaze for last just because, well, there's a chance for a Charizard. Right? There is code. So, I'm super excited, guys. Grass Energy, Galarian, Stunfisk, Delmise, Electric, Pharisee, Duskull, Oshawott, Drillbird, Dene, Manectric, and a Talonflame V. Okay, so two V's in two packs. Now we'll go with Darkness Ablaze and then we'll finish up with Chilling Rain. So, there's your code from Darkness Ablaze. But no, I'm super excited to get into this. Celebrations. Metal Energy, Fletchender, Gotharita. Kabu, Pansage, Tauros, Diglett, Squovet, 
Shelmet, Snubble, and a Clink Clang, non-hollow. But yeah, like I said, I'm I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too for this set. Um, I would say that this set is going to balloon in price. Now, from what I have heard, there is supposed to be a second wave of this product coming out towards the end of the month. So if you haven't gotten any yet and can't, or can't find it because it's sold out everywhere, I wouldn't worry yet. But Old Cemetery, Steeny, Dynatree Hill, Larvesta, Sobble, Lediva, Squilvet, Quibrawler, Justified Gloves, and an Ampharos, non-hollow. So one pack left of our five standard packs, Darkness Ablaze. Are we going to find a third hit? in R5. Maybe. Grass Energy, Simapore, Corvusquire, Lunatone, Wishiwashi, Kufant, Sinesta, or Sinesty, Feebas, Passimian, Shenotic, and a Flygon. Non-hollow. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to complain, right? Those five packs are kind of freebies. These are the packs that we want the hits to come out of. So, four cards per pack. Ooh, we got a Groudon to start us off, and we do have codes. But, we have Groudon, Cosmo, Rockets Admin, Full Art Pikachu, Full Art Base Set Pikachu. <laughs> and that Rocket's Admin card is actually kind of cool because I'm pretty sure that's from Team Rocket Returns. But I could be wrong. Code. We have Cosmog. Yveltal, and it looks like we have a V. Zekrom. Zamazenta V. Okay, so... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to lay them out. I don't know why because they're all technically hits. There's Lugia, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. We have Cosmog again, Kyogre, and Professor's Research. Oh, and Code Card. Almost forgot about the code for you guys. But Lugia, definitely a cool card. Um, that one, I don't think we got a throwback, a Celebrations. Um, collection or whatever they're calling it there's that um so something like this right where it's basically a reprint with the finish and the celebrations logo but we got dialga xerneas blastoise there we go we have ourselves one of the big th and mew okay yeah I, I can dig it i can dig it I'm going to move those packs up there. So we do have one of the big three. Can we find the Charizard? That's the card I think everybody's hunting for. That and the Golden Mew. Um, I would be happy with any of them. Golden Mew, Charizard, Umbreon Gold Star. We have another Kyogre. There's another Yveltal. Another Groudon. And a Lunala. So these... That is one thing about celebrations that I do like. They're all hollows. They're technically all hits, which is cool. And code card. We have another Cosmog. Another Zekrom. We have a Don Fan. I don't even know what's. Oh, that's Heart Gold Soul Silver. And a Flying Pikachu V Max. Okay. You know what? I can dig it. I can dig it. That Don Fan is pretty cool. I don't know if the Don Fan from Heart Gold Soul Silver has any value, but I can only assume it does a little bit anyway. There's another Lugia and Ho -Oh. There's Cleffa. And a Zamazenta V plus your code. There's Zamazenta V Dialga. Sorry, you get to move. We got three packs left, and we have hit. I'm going to move Flying Pikachu down and move the Don Fan up. 
and Cosmog. You know what? I'm going to set you there. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. There. Four cards from the Celebrations collection or whatever they call it. Um, the reprint cards with the funny texture and the logo. But code. We have another Kyogre. Another Yveltal. Another Xerneas. And another Mew. Okay, I can dig it. Mew, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, one of. I should say I'm kind of a fan of all of them. I should say that. But we have Palkia. That's the first Palkia we've gotten. Okay. Cosmog. Another Groudon. Another Full Art Pikachu. And Code. So we definitely have some trade fodder if we're looking to complete the set as far as with duplicates and whatnot. Which is cool. I'm all right with that. But we have our code. We have another Zekrom. Another ho -Oh, Tapu Lele GX. And a flying Pikachu V. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain at all. We got four cards that are the, the reprints. You know, Cleffa, Rockets Admin, Blastoise, Donphan. I'm just happy that we got one of the big three, um, if I'm being quite honest. But I'm going to have to find myself a binder for these and start working on the set. Because this is a set I want. Without a doubt, this is a set I want. Um, complete set that I would love to have. But... That ETB was actually surprisingly good. We got two hits out of the five bonus packs we got. And then out of the ten celebrations packs, yeah, we got a bunch of Cosmogs. Yeah, we got a bunch of Kyogres and Groudons and Yveltals and Zekroms and stuff that way we got. We definitely got a bunch of duplicates. But with a set that only has 25 cards in it plus, um, oh, what do they do with that book? Nah, it fell on the ground on the other side of the table. I'll leave it. Um, but yeah, we definitely, uh, oh, we, we definitely are making headway towards the full set is what I'm trying to say, but I had a lot of fun. This is, this is a product I think until it's been out for a while and we really start to see how the market does and what the chase cards are doing. Um, I think it's going to be very hard to tell what is a great ETB versus, or what's a great pack versus what's a decent pack or what's a good pack um right because some of these cards have value like the flying pikachu v max has value it's a couple dollars at least um but at the end of the day you're you're chasing charizard right so but this is a set that i'm i'm still tickled pink i still love it so with that i appreciate y'all for tuning in I hope you guys had as much fun with this opening as I did. And uh, one thing I did notice is our Greninja is damaged. And I don't know how. But if you can see here, right, it's been crimped. Card has been crimped. Which means I'm probably going to need to go find myself another ETB and open it. To get a clean version of that. Because, well... I uh, yeah, it's damaged, which sucks. It's very unfortunate. <clears throat> but aside from that, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. So take care, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we will catch you all on the next one.